Welcome to Clay Class, tutorials by the 7th Street Studio. Today we're going to be making a coil pot, a small one, just to give you the idea of how it works. So we're going to need a smoothing tool, a needle tool, some water, as well as our clay. So you're going to start out with a small piece and then using the heel of your hand, or if you have a slab roller or a rolling pin, and you'd like to do a larger base, um, you can do that as well. I'm using the heel of my hand here just because it's faster and I can get the thickness I need. So you're gonna take your needle tool and you're gonna cut out your base. And then that keeps your thickness um, even. You don't want an uneven base. So now that I have that, I'm going to start rolling out my coils. You're going to take your piece of clay and then using the palm of your hand, you're going to smoosh it into kind of a snake shape. <clears throat> and then rolling from the center of the coil with the palms of your hands to the edges. This helps keep it um, consistent. You want to keep consistent pressure on the entire coil. And then since I'm making really, really small coils for a really small pot, you'll notice that I take a piece, I roll it out, I break it in half, and then I keep rolling. So then um, you're going to take your water, with your sponge, and you're going to smooth your coil and the base, and you're going to score and slip your base. Now I'm using a needle tool for this, but if you have a scoring tool, that works even better. <clears throat> and so you see, I'm just going along the edges, making marks, and then I'm going to change directions and make marks in the other direction. What this does is it breaks up the platelets in the clay so that you have a stronger bond um, with the coil part. So here we go scoring, 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 making sure the clay is soft enough that it gets kind of um, smushy. And then I'm going to score the coil as well. Now I'm working with soft clay. It would be fine if I didn't score it, but you get a much better bond and a lot stronger bond if you score both pieces. And then you're going to slip where you just take that scoring and you get it wet and mix up that slip. And then you're going to press with your fingers and you're going to keep it nice and kind of squared um, so that you have a flat surface to lay on top of when you go around the next time. So I'm pressing my coil into where I have scored and then I will take my smoothing tool and I will flatten the top of that coil and then I will score it. And then I will wrap around the next coil, placing that on top. You wanna to make sure that you work um, kind of upwards and inwards when you're building with coil because you don't want to build outward, otherwise it'll tip over. So as I wrap with the coil, I am just scoring the base and placing the soft coil on top. You want to make sure that you work with soft clay, but then once you reach the end of a coil, you want to pause and smooth out the bumps or the edges of those coils.
Now once you smooth out those ridges on the outside, I recommend doing the outside to the inside. Um, and then you can kind of reshape as you go. But you see how I started out with the base and I built kind of inwards because then once you start smoothing on the inside, it will kind of shape back so that it's straight. And then you're, you don't kind of tip over or have any sort of structural issues with your coil pot. Now smoothing at the base and smoothing as you go is really important because once you get your whole coil pot built, you're not going to be able to reach the bottom in the same way that you could in the beginning. And it kind of gives you less to do, less um, refinement work to do near the end. So now we're just gonna reshape and smooth the top out so that when I lay the next coil, it's got a nice sturdy place to build off of. And then it's important to, after doing a coil, um, to let it set up. Now another technique you can use for scoring is a toothbrush, um, a really kind of stiff toothbrush can give you really really fine scoring marks and it can give you a really really beautiful um, really beautiful bond and when you're working with a really thin coil pot like I am here um, it's easier on the clay you don't bump anything or make a big mess and then I just continued to press and then once you get up or if your clay starts to get too soft you can actually score your coil as you put it on rather than scoring the pot itself you can score the coil and that can help if you're working with like a softer clay or you're trying to build something in one session like i was here so you just score your coil score your pot and then you'll just set your coil on and you'll just press it into sort of a square shape. And then you will smooth out in sections as you add things, as you add layers. So here I have smoothed out my inside, my outside. I'm going to kind of shape it softly. I wanted kind of an oval shape for this pot so my base is slightly ovalish and then when I'm smushing it I'm kind of smushing it into an oval shape rather than a circular shape and then for the edge I wanted a really really thin fine edge um, but a lot of people like to add ridges or add rims um, to their vessels so here you could use uh, a thicker coil and put that on top this is just, I chose to kind of go with a more organic, kind of pinched um, finishing for this pot specifically. And if you don't know much about scoring, um, please watch our other video that's specifically on scoring and slipping. It is a really important process. All of, all hand building processes um, pretty much rely on scoring and slipping and a lot of uh, throwing processes as well. So it's a really, really important process to understand. So do go watch that if you are confused at all about what scoring and slipping is. So here I just finished my edge. And then I'm gonna smooth out the vessel and I'm gonna let it set up, clean up. And then there you have it, your coil pot with a nice 90 degree um, form. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful. I really love the way that this came out. Now I want to share a few coil pot tips with you before we go. Make sure that you're laying the coil on the inner half of the last ring and smooth out your vessel in between your coil sections. 
allow the clay time to set up in between sections and as you go and work with soft clay for the coil and make sure that you are scoring and slipping as you are laying the coils down. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Clay Class, tutorials by the 7th Street Studio. Please send us an email, visit us our website, or follow us on Instagram to see more videos like this.